Beal Aerospace was formed in 1997 by Dallas banker and entrepreneur Andy Beal to compete for a portion of the multi-billion dollar satellite launch market. Based in Frisco, Texas and with a test site near Waco, the company's mission was straightforward, to create reliable and economical large-scale rockets using simplified design and entrepreneurial management techniques. Beal Aerospace recruited engineers who pioneered advances in engine design, composite materials, and chemical engineering. Their advances led them to use hydrogen peroxide as a propellant, with the attendant operational advantage of being used at ambient temperature and lower environmental impact. The result was the BA-810, the largest hydrogen peroxide-fueled engine ever built. And only the Saturn V had a larger liquid-fueled engine. Significantly, it was also the largest engine ever built privately, with no ties to or funding by the government. In early 2000, less than three years after its founding, Beale Aerospace conducted two 21-second tests, one private, one public, of the BA-810 which ultimately was to serve as the Stage 2 engine for the company's planned launch vehicle. This successful firing is a, is a milestone event for us. It's, uh, it proves the technology of our engines and the, uh, the scalability of the technology. We're just very excited. With the successful engine tests, all systems were go for the scheduled 2002 launch of the BA-2 rocket. A heavy lift three-stage launcher using one centerline engine per stage and standing 325 feet tall. Stages one and two would use liquid injection for steering, while stage three would use a restartable gimbaled engine to enable multiple satellite deployments. All stages would be reusable, with primary stage recoveries occurring at sea. The vehicle would have the capacity to lift approximately 13,200 pounds to geosynchronous transfer orbit and 37,400 pounds to low Earth orbit, with a payload area wide enough for larger satellites to be placed side by side. Unfortunately, Beale Aerospace could not overcome the obstacles presented by government-subsidized competition and, to a lesser extent, uncertainty over whether the State Department would approve launches from the company's own launch site. On October 24, 2000, Beale Aerospace ceased operations. However, with its commitment to private funding, innovative thinking, and entrepreneurial principles, Beale Aerospace left a legacy for future private aerospace pioneers.